Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am explaining about uh, pie chart data interpretation. Here, I will continue pie chart data interpretation. First of all, we need to read the information carefully. After that, we need to solve the questions according to the given information. See here, these questions are based on the pie charts given below. The pie chart gives the distribution of expenditure, distribution of expenditure of a family in two months in two different years. It is very easy to understand that here April 2005, April 2008. First pie chart is about April 2005. Second pie chart is about April 2008. And total expenditure is given in April 2005 that is 32,400 whereas coming to April 2008 total expenditure 52,800. These are the values which are provided in this uh, pie chart, right? That is the information. Now coming to the questions. Uh, based on this information, we need to solve the questions. Uh, look at the first question. The total expenditure on food and taxes put together, total expenditure on food and taxes together in April 2008, in April 2008 exceeded the same in 2005 by how much here which is nothing but April 2008 food and taxes expenditure is how much more than that of 2005 so you need to calculate food plus tax is equal to how much in 2005 food plus tax which is equal to how much in 2008 in both the years you need to calculate once it is done, you need to calculate the difference between those two. That is your answer. Here first, we will calculate for 2005. Food and uh, tax together. As we are talking about together, 20 plus 10, 30 percentage, right? 30 percentage. What is 30 percentage of 32,400? Here, two zeros, two zeros cancel. And you can multiply these two. Here 0 is there. You can keep it as 0. 4 3s are 12. 1 carry. Next. 2 3s are 6 plus 1. 7. 3 3 is there. 9. 9 7 2 0. 9 7 2 0. Total food and uh, taxes together. 9 7 2 0 in 2005. Whereas coming to 2008. In 2008. Food and taxes together. 25 plus 15, 25 plus 15, which is 40 percentage, 40 percentage. What is 40 percentage of 52,800? That is the total expenditure in 2008. Now you can cancel these two zeros, two zeros, two zeros cancel. And you can multiply 40 and 528, 528. Here at the end, zero is there, you can keep it as zero. 8 fours are 32, 3 carry, 2 fours are 8, 8 plus 3, 11, 1 carry, 5 fours are 20, plus 1, 21, 21,120, 21,120, this is the total food and taxes together in 2008, whereas in 2005, Food and taxes together 9,720. Now the question what he is asking is, in 2008, this total is uh, how much exceeded as that in 2005? That is the question, which is nothing but the difference between those two. 21,120 minus 9,720. That is the value you need to calculate. 0 minus 0, 0. 2 minus 2, 0. 11 minus 7, that is 4. Here 0 will be there. 10 minus 9, 1. Next, 1. 11,400. 11,400, that is the difference between uh, 2005 and 2008 uh, food and taxes together. 11,400, which is option B. Option B is the right answer for this question. Let's move to the second question. 
Here the second one is the expenditure in April 2005. Expenditure in April 2005 which is 32,400 is what percentage of that in 2008? In 2008 total expenditure 54, uh, 52,800. Now the information which is given in the brackets that is rounded off to two digits uh, after the decimal point. We need to calculate up to two digits after the decimal point. Okay. As none of this is there, because of that reason, you need to calculate the entire calculation part. In some cases, none of these options will not be provided. In that case, as the options, remaining four options, everything is starts with one. Whereas coming to the second digit, here it is starts with three. Here it is starts with one. Here it is starts with four. Here it is starts with zero. Whenever these digits are different, you can stop at that particular point itself, whether it is 3 or 1 or 4 or 0, if none of this is not there. But in this case, none of this is there. So, because of that reason, you need to calculate the entire calculation part. Here, what is our required percentage that we need to calculate? Total expenditure. Expenditure in 2005 is what percentage of expenditure in 2008 into 100 percentage whenever we are calculating percentage into 100 percentage symbol that is common here expenditure in 2005 which is equal to 32400 whereas coming to 2008 that value is 52800 into 100 percentage symbol here two zeros Two zeros cancel. You can cancel with four table. Four eighty one times. Four one sir. Four three sir. Four two sir. And next three table. Three twenty sevens. Three forty four sir. Now you can you can uh, multi uh, take it as uh, two seven double zero divided by forty four. Two seven double zero divided by forty four. And next uh, here it is. Uh, you can cancel with uh, or else you can do one thing he uh, 11 times uh, 4 11 sir 4 25 4 11 sir 4 25 sir 27 into 25 that is 675 675 divided by 11 this calculation is very easy 675 divided by 11 this is equal to 11 6 sir, 66 sir. 15 is there 15 means 11 1 sir Next, uh, again, 4, 40. 40 means 3 times. Uh, and next, uh, uh, 33 will be over 70. 70 means uh, 6 times. Uh, you need to stop at this position. Why? Because you need to calculate uh, up to 2 digits after the decimal point. Uh, therefore, your answer will be 61.36%. Uh, that is option B. In case none of this option is not there, you can stop at this position itself. Why? Because uh, no other option is starting with 61. If no other option is starting with 61, obviously your answer is 61.36% uh, uh, only. No need of calculating after the decimal digits as well. Okay? But here none of this option is there because of that reason definitely you need to calculate uh, remaining digits as well. 61.36 is the right answer for this question which is option B. See the next question. If in 2005, if in 2005 the income of family 25 percentage more than expenditure. In 2005 income of the family 25 percentage more. What is 25 percentage of 32,400. This is more value and uh, expenditure is 32,400. So, income is nothing but uh, expenditure plus saving. Income is mentioned as 25 percentage more than the expenditure. Expenditure is uh, 32,400 plus how much more it is uh, 25 percentage. So, now you can cancel these two four times and here it is uh, eight uh, four eights uh, 
four ones uh, double zero. Now you can add these two. How much it is? Last uh, two digits uh, are zero. Four plus one, five. Two plus eight, ten. One carry. Three plus one, four. Therefore, income of that particular family in two thousand five, which is equal to forty thousand five hundred. This is in two thousand five. Now coming to the second line, and it is. Uh, Income is 15 percentage more than the expenditure in 2008. In 2008, in 2008, income is equal to expenditure plus 15 percentage more. What is 15 percentage of 52800? That we need to calculate. Here, two zeros, two zeros cancel. 15 into 528. 528 tensor 5280. Again 5, 5 times, which is nothing but half of that value. That is 2640. Now you can add these two. 0, 12, 8 plus 1, 9, and next 7. 7920. Therefore, income in 2008. Which is equal to five two eight double zero plus seven nine two zero. Add these two. What you will get here? The units place is zero. Tens place is two. Next uh, hundreds place nine plus eight seventeen. One carry. Ah, uh, two plus one three. Three plus seven. Ten. Next one carry again. One plus five six. Sixty thousand. 720, 60,000, 720—that is the income in 2008, and this is the income in 2005. In both the uh, in both the years, we got the incomes. Now, what is the question he is asking about? Here, the question he is asking about is uh, find the ratio of savings uh, in 2005 and uh, 2008. Ratio of savings. Uh, Ratio of savings. Savings is nothing but income minus expenditure. As we all know that saving is equal to income minus expenditure. Calculate 2005 saving and uh, savings in 2005 is to savings in 2008, which is equal to income in 2005 that is 40,500 minus 32,400 is to And coming to 2008, income is equal to 60,720 minus expenditure 52,800. That is the value you need to calculate in this case. Here, if you observe carefully, see one thing is uh, first one is 45,000, sorry 40,500 minus 32,400. Difference between those two, two zeros, and this is one. And here it is eight eight one double zero. This is eight one double zero. And uh, next one saving of two thousand eight saving of two thousand eight, which is equal to here it is uh, income is sixty thousand seven twenty and uh, say uh, expenditure fifty two thousand eight hundred. Here zero and next. Uh, Two and this is uh, nine and this is uh, seven. Seven nine two zero. Seven nine two zero. Zero zero cancel. Now you can uh, do the calculation part for this one. Here it is uh, uh, nine table. Nine nineties and next uh, nine uh, eight times and then it is uh, uh, again eight times. Now you can cancel with uh, two table. Here it is 45 times, and this is uh, 44 times. 45 is to 44. 45 is to 44. That is the required ratio. Option D is the right answer for this question. Option D. Next one. See here. In April 2008, uh, expenditure on transport increases by 20 percentage, and uh, Then, by what percentage should the expenditure on food be reduced to keep the expenditure the same? 
See, we are talking about 2008. Transport is 10 percentage. It is very clear that transport is 10 percentage. Uh, 52800. 10 percentage means uh, 5280. That is transport value. Now it is increases by 20 percentage. If it is increases by 20 percentage, this value becomes uh, 1 to 120 percentage, right? Instead of that, you can do the 20 percentage value. Here, two zeros and two zeros cancel. How much value it increases? You will get it. Here, 528 into 2, that is 1056. 1056. This much of value is increases for transport. For transport, 1056 increases. But we don't want to increase the entire expenditure. So, directly, you can take it as a... Uh, this value uh, for food how much value should be reduced in order to reduce this one uh, first food is 25 percentage what is 25 percentage of 52800 two zeros two zeros cancel you can multiply those two 25 into 528 which we will get is uh, 13200 but we need to reduce 1056. Why? Because we need to maintain the same expenditure. Therefore, percentage reduction is equal to how much we have to reduce? 1056 divided by from where? 13200 original value of food into 100 percentage. Two zeros, two zeros cancel. And next, uh, now you can. Uh, we can multi uh, we can calculate this value approximately what will we get 1056 divided by 132 1056 divided by 132 that is exactly cancelled uh, eight times uh, that particular value is eight percentage option c is the right answer last question in this session approximately by what percentage did the expenditure on clothing Increase from April 2005 to 2008. Very simple. Clothing is 10%. 10 percentage of this total, 3 to 4 0. Whereas coming to this uh, 2008, clothing is 12 percentage. What is 12 percentage of 5 to 8 double 0? Two zeros, two zeros cancel. Therefore, 528 into 12. That is uh, 6336. Now we need to calculate percentage increment. Percentage increment is equal to difference between those two. 6336 minus 3240 divided by 3240 from where it is increases into 100. That is the value we need to calculate. Here the difference between those two. 6336 minus 3240. 30. 963096 three, divided by 3240 into 100%. Here 1010 one, cancel. Now you can calculate this value. 3096 into 10 means uh, one more zero will be there. Divided by 324. After calculation, what you will get is approximately that is 95.5 percentage. 95.5. Five percentage that is option D option D is the right answer for this question in this way you need to calculate percentage increment of uh, clothing guys I hope you understand each and every problem and uh, thank you thanks for watching